Rick. All right. Good evening and welcome, everybody. Hi, Pierre. I'm glad to see you made it. It's only the sound, sorry, is only going onto the computer for the purposes of the of the Zoom recording. It's not for you. You're supposed to be able to hear me. So if your hearing aids are not turned up loud enough, please turn them up louder now. And uh, where did I put my phone? Let me please switch off your, your I've got a hardy door ringtone and I don't want that. Silent. Okay, welcome everybody. Um, so uh, we've got some apologies. Uh, Lynette Geldenhuis, Bernd Rosenkrantz, I thought he was in Berlin, but anyway. Uh, Mick Finn, and uh, who else was there? Is that all? All right, thanks. Okay, so then um, the uh, the 2023 AGM minutes were sent out to everybody. I presume everybody has read that and looked for mistakes. Um, can we get a, if there are no, sorry, I can't hear. Oh, goodness. Okay, error noted. Secretary, please, correct. Um, all right, if there are any other comments on last year's minutes besides that, can we get an approval of last year's minutes? Anybody prepared to approve? Thanks, Laura. All right, second. Thanks. Okay, two. I think it's now John and... Uh, all right, so no matters arising from the minutes and they are approved. Can we go on with the chairman's report? Everybody's happy. All right, let's switch over to that. Yeah, I don't know if you can read that, but anyway, I'll just I'll just read it from here. All right, do you mind if I just read through it quickly? It's only six pages, it only take about 25 minutes. Uh, in 2023, I'm pleased to report that HOC was able to measurably improve its attendance and quality of its activities with a range of fascinating topics covered in the monthly lectures, as well as its cosmology and study group subgroups. While active membership decreased slightly from 58 members to 51, we had good feedback from a questionnaire aimed at gauging the members' needs and asking how we can improve the experience. Factors such as more actual stargazing events and live lecture physical meetings were uh, a couple of the main points raised, and we set about complying with these requests wherever possible. In our live lecture sessions, which were simultaneously streamed and recorded on Zoom, were very well attended, particularly when bolstered by visitors from the Honorous Manor community. This was assisted by excellent topics and presenters, which we are fortunate to have had arranged by the highly capable Dr. Peter Kotze. Thanks, Peter. There are, of course, still challenges, as can be seen by the long-term gradual erosion of membership numbers. But I firmly believe that by working on the, the aspects we have identified, we will improve this. So um, that is a summary uh, of the function attendance. I don't know if you can read that, but very diligently kept by Peter Harvey amongst all the 10 other things he does. Thanks very much, Peter. Great stats, great for analyzing how we're doing and so on. Um, then, other new developments, in particular, the various outreach activities currently being vigorously pursued by Dr. Pierre de Villiers and others such as Mick Finn assisting, should make an impact on stimulating membership by the youth over the long term, which is severely currently sorely lacking. Oh. I would perhaps go so far as to say that this is a crucial component of the strategy for the long term viability of amateur astronomy in Amanus. And we are indeed very fortunate to have the likes of Pierre, who has tackled this with. Oh. 
tremendous inspiration and vigor. Um, I would like to ask him to present a summary of these activities of this report. Of course, uh, Pierre was also involved in the establishment of the Gearing's Point Astronomy Education Display the previous year and continues to be hands-on with improving some aspects in the materials which proved pro problematic and mainly resulted from the extremely rushed installation timetable forced on us by the Lottery Board. Right. Then as far as the detail on the monthly meetings go, I'm going to list every every topic, but there's some, there's some good ones. We started off with the Eyes Observing Instrument by Johann Smith, which I can't remember why we had to postpone that to February. I think it was load shedding was a problem, something like that. Uh, then things like Solar mag System Magnetism by Peter Kotzer. So we're lucky to have our own expert talking to us on that. Cosmic power stations, fast rotating magnetized neutron stars. These are all really, really good topics. Uh, and then we had a special meeting uh, presented by Dr. Sandlin Buxner of the Planetary Science Institute from Texas, I think. Um, who was this? Was a special request from Dr. Amanda Sikafus to have that as an extra meeting. And then we had a talk on meteors by Tim Cooper, which is always great. Astrophotography with a tripod, Cos Coronias, a bit of a specialist, but um, those of us that enjoyed it, you know, we enjoyed it. Hess, of course, the high energy uh, a gamma ray telescope in, in Namibia. Physics of the heliosphere, astro seismology, geomagnetic magnetic jerks, enigma, the enigma of Betelgeuse. I don't know, I've always, I always say Betelgeuse, and Peter says that's the wrong pronunciation. I'm sticking to Betelgeuse. But that was, I think, 40-something, the stats are there somewhere. I think Pierre, Pierre noted that that is actually, he thinks that's a record attendance uh, as far as numbers per meeting. It's the most we've ever had. So uh, Professor Martin Snow was, I think, I think everybody wanted to know whether what his, his opinion was going to be, whether Beetlejuice was about to go supernova or what, but he uh, couldn't commit himself on that. All right. And for the coming year, I'm pretty sure we've seen Peter's list, and I think it's going to be equally great. Our attempt to accommodate the desires of the membership to have more physical meetings instead of Zoom only was supported by the availability of the superb facilities at Honest Manor, free of charge, because some members are resident there. Some of those two members sitting over there. Uh, although a requirement is that the topic should also be of interest to the non-member residents of Honest Manor. We were privileged to hold a special meeting presented by Dr. Sanon Baxner. I've already said that. Um, we continue to do a simultaneous Zoom live stream as this has, has advantage of allowing members who are not local to attend, as well as a few from other astronomy centers around the country. The other advantage, of course, is that the talk can be recorded for those who are unable to attend it live and can be viewed at any time on our YouTube channel at a later stage by anyone who wishes. Um, as can be seen from the table below, uh, let's move on this quickly. I don't know if you can read that. As can be seen from the table below, the meeting on 21st November about Beetlejuice had a record attendance. I've already mentioned that. Um, so that is, if you can see my mouse, this one down here. Right. Right, then. Um, for the cosmology meetings, we have continued with a beautifully presented YouTube video series entitled The History of the Universe, and this will be will continue for a while as we are now about halfway through the series. Although there are only a few attendees at each session, there's always a lively discussion afterwards, uh, disappointingly very few from other centers. And this is enough motivation to continue with it, and I enjoy mm -hmm. presenting it. Peter Harvey is in charge of choosing subject matter for the study groups, which is a bit more popular than the cosmology sessions, uh, possibly due to, in no small part, his excellent choice of fascinating subjects. The highly specialized astrophotography interest group run by Dion Krecher has not met every month, but the core group we partake in this continue to learn from each other. And it is pleasing that new members who are interested in practice astrophotography have uh, joined the HOC. 
I'm thinking of Peter Kugel. All right. <laughs> uh, welcome, Peter Kugel, to the HAC this year. I think you joined only a couple of months ago. Um, projects. Um, Pierre de Villiers continues with unabated energy to devote enormous time to projects such as setting up outreach groups like the science and technology school clubs. And of course, he has grabbed the opportunity offered by Tim Cooper to enable meteor monitoring. Now, I don't know, he might say something that, about that. There is a problem there. I'll leave it up to him. Um, uh, recording with cameras by school with both hands. We look forward with great interest to see how all this develops through, 90, through 2024, and I hope we can get that going. We are truly privileged to have someone of this caliber, uh, that being Pierre, driving all these activities for us. I believe they are crucially important for engaging the public and youth in astronomy activities, and thus the well-being and future of amateur astronomy in Amanus and indeed the whole country. Pierre, of course, is the um, outreach director for ASA as well. So he's, he's outreach director for countrywide for South Africa, actually. <laughs> So uh, he's quite a big shot in that. A challenging. Uh, uh, this is this is Pierre's. Um, actually, I'm um, I'm just going to skip that. Um, I wonder if you don't want to jump in and just do your section on on outreach, Pierre, or do you want to do it after the whole report? Yeah. Uh, do, do you want to, okay, you've got other and, and other things and pictures and stuff you want to talk about after the talk? I've got them all up here. We can just share it and you can just say a couple of things about it. Or do you want me to just read it out? I'll read this one out so long, so that's done. All right, so this is in Pierre's words, a challenging year health-wise limited outreach activity. Um, then the bullet points are counting sunspots at Lucania. Uh, learners designing and marking out their anonymatic sundial at Generation School. Uh, very successful first quarter moon gazing at Gearing's Point. Report attached. Yeah, we can talk about that if you want. McFinn's availability at the tourism office every Thursday for guided tours of the solar system, which is a bit poorly supported because of lack of advertisement by the tourism office. And then uh, Pierre describes a bit more about the Global Meteor Network. Pierre did, of course, give us a 40-something a minute lecture on that whole thing. When was that last year or the year, the year before? Some Sometime during last year, I think. And September, something like that, yeah. Yes. Yeah, but you also gave us a talk on it, one of the monthly meetings. All right, but this is then a summary of what the situation is now, status. Um, ASA's main outreach project for 2024 was initiated by Tim Cooper in 2023. The GMN, what's Global Meteor Network project involves around 500 Meteor CCTV cameras installed worldwide and mainly in North America and Europe with a few in Brazil, Perth, Sydney, and New Zealand, none in Africa. The cameras are installed in pairs about 100 kilometers apart, aligned to overlap their images. They automatically start up at night, close at dawn, download and transmit the night's images to a central server in Boston, which processes the camera's, camera's images. Simultaneous observations by two or more cameras are valid observations, which allow the meteor track to be calculated. Such observations are then automatically emailed to all email to all participating learners every day. Kurt, are you happy with the sound quality? Sorry. You happy with the sound level and so on? Okay. There are 15 learners at Post Refuge, 10 at Langsburg, and four in Tulitli participating at Startup. The HAC assisted by identifying, well, Pierre really did all this, by identifying two previously disadvantaged schools with enthusiastic teachers at Toes Refuge Primary and Lanesburg High, where the first four cameras in Africa will be installed in the next week or two. This is an amazing project, which allows learners to acquire new skills in remote sensing. 
astronomy, meteors, programming, and presentation of observations in real time and real international science. The participants will hopefully present a live abstract at the IAU GA General Assembly in August, which is about 20 or 30,000 astronomers from around the world will be meeting in Cape Town in the CITCC in August. Okay. Um, Pierre, do you want to say something afterwards about all this, or do you want to update us as you get more information? Just over newsletters and stuff. Okay. All right, so in case Pierre's voice didn't come over, he says he thinks the cameras will be in... Sorry? Yeah. yeah, okay, just to repeat what Pierre said, he thinks the cameras will be installed in March. Uh, and that will probably be too late to do an abstract for the IAU. Um, okay, and then maintenance of the solar system model and GPAED. Um, yeah, Piers, this has been a continuous sort of headache for Pierre, and, and uh, he's been driving and doing all this. Some of the badly cracked perspex covers at the GPAED, predominantly on the southern or sea side, were replaced with with uh, bigger holes drilled to ensure that no tension there's no tension on the perspex. But these were also cracked by visitors leaning on the blocks to stabilize themselves or their cameras while watching whales. The only solution will be to cut out the reverse printed parts of the perspex covers and affix them directly onto the stainless steel, uh, gluing it with a sort of see-through glue. Uh, considerable research and testing identified the 10 BRAF uh, brand of silicon sealant proved to be the best because it remains flexible after drying to accommodate the differential expansion and contraction of perspex and stainless steel. We will start with one tablet to ensure its longevity. The solar systems models maintenance will be done once funds are available. All right. And then uh, Pierre wrote a little uh, tribute to Dr. Leanne McKinnell, who passed away last year. Um, sad news. The HAC was saddened to hear of Leanne McKinnell's passing during 2023. She was a great friend of the HAC and Sansa supported the HAC in many significant ways particularly in the earlier years when we frequently used Sansa's facilities free of charge. Her leadership and competence played a huge, large role in building up space science and Sansa to what it is now. Our condolences were conveyed to her family with their great loss. All right. And then I've just got a few notes on other things. Um, communication. Page ready. Okay, thanks to Peter Harvey, Harvey and Peter Kotzer, who have very effectively collaborated on publishing our monthly newsletter, starting with the essential communications for the month to members by Peter Harvey and Peter Kotzer, following with several fascinating articles about new astronomy discoveries and research findings during each previous month, bolstered by superb graphic illustrations. They've also become experts at doing a very professional job of optimally formatting, formatting all the information, which took a bit of effort to get right initially. Um, yeah, one doesn't realize all the effort that people go to until one tries and has to do it for yourself. Of course, uh, the person that did that in the past was Jenny. Uh, he retired from that job last year. Um, huge thanks to Peter for the, his production of a really top-class monthly edition of the Sky Maps amongst his heavy load of other duties, including producing committee meeting minutes, organizing logistics and notices timelessly for media publication, and, meet, and meeting bookings and location arrangements, etc., 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 which has for now, years now been an example for the rest of the centers in SA as to how it should be done. Uh, that was talking about the sky maps, actually. I keep the website and Facebook pages going. 
And then lastly, we just want to uh, thank all the committee members. Um, I'd like to express mm -hmm. my appreciation to the committee for all the work they've done in 2023. These could be seen as a thank as thankless tasks done by volunteers sometimes, but they always acquit themselves with energy and enthusiasm, and it is a great privilege to be working with this wonderful group of people. Thanks very much. Uh, Peter Kotzer completed another year of arranging our superb range of speakers, as well as contributing and editing the astronomy articles for the newsletter. Elaine Sykes has made excellent work of the critical treasurer's job with much handover support initially from Laura, the previous treasurer, for which we owe her a massive thanks for all she continued to do. Um, to that end, I think maybe I want to jump in now. We've got something we want to present to Laura. Should we do that now, Peter? I think so. Yeah. Have you got the certificate? Yes. Laura, we thought we, you know, you dis we can't let you disappear into the into the night with having done that marvelous job that you have. Yeah, I I just can I just read this out. This was um, this was edited by by Pierre and drawn up by him. Um, Laura, this serves as a token of appreciation for our long term, for your long term enthusiastic and significant contributions to all the activities of the Omanis Astronomy Center as one of its most respected elder members as a very diligent and participative member since 2008, as an absolutely outstanding treasurer since 2012, whose diligence and comforting meticulous attention to detail bordered on the unbelievable. She wrapped us on the knuckles quite often, I can tell you. The finances of the HIC could not have been in more capable hands than Laura. As an active and enthusiastic participant in all activities of the HIC stargazing, for which she bought and used a good pair of Pentax 10 by 50 binoculars on a Steve Klein parallelogram tripod, outings to Sutherland, the Cedarburg, and Christmas parties. As the most eagle-eyed editor reviewer of all C document, varied from minutes of meetings to draft auditors' financial statements, went astronomy education tablet brought peace of mind about the accuracy of all documentation to all committee members once she okayed it, and then also as a good friend. Your significant contributions towards the effective and successful functioning of the Amanus Astronomy Center are hereby acknowledged and sincerely appreciated. I think we should give her a round of applause. Want to say anything? Or can, I, can I carry on? You want to stand, stand in front of the camera and hold it up so that people can see it. Uh, just just for the Zoom audience, just show them that this is Laura and that's a certificate. Okay. Thanks very much, Laura. Much appreciated. All right. Uh, that right, then... Uh, that was discussing the committee. Um, Pierre de Villiers resigned as chairman the previous year, but I seamlessly focused on outreach and public focus projects while simultaneously being roped in as a countrywide director of outreach by ASA. We are indeed fortunate to continue having the benefits of Pierre's energy and dedication in this regard. Of course, Pierre is ably supported in many of the scholar and public outreach events by Mick Finn in his involvement in the weekly solar system tours and most of Pierre's visits to schools by various art to, uh, for various outreach projects whenever he's available. Um, so Mick is, I think, somewhere, I don't know, in Dubai or something at the moment. So he sent his, did, yeah, Mick should have actually, he, he sent apologies long ago. Um, as non-committee members, Dion Krieger has continued to run our astrophotography section and been of critical support in the GPAED subcommittee. Johan Retief, a stalwart of our club, has been controlling the admin of our membership numbers and all that goes with it, but will be re retiring from that as of today. And we owe him a huge thanks for this and all he has done to contribute to the HAC up to now. Is he here tonight? Hey, thanks, thanks, Johan. Um, so on, on that note, we, we need a volunteer to take over membership admin. Thanks very much, whoever's going to... 
Peter, have you got a comment? I'm quite happy to carry on with the membership uh, unless somebody else would really like to do it. Don't say that, Peter. No. But it's not no. so onerous. I can carry on with it if you like. No, Peter, you're doing too much already. Somebody's going to volunteer. Um, okay, then uh, the current committee have agreed to continue for the next year. Uh, but we are calling for additional volunteers to manage the membership administration and someone to take over the minute keeping from Peter, which he's been uh, overseeing on a temporary basis, I think for about two years. So in astronomy club, that's temporary. All right. And that is actually my whole story. Thank you very much. Um, I do have all peers information and photos. If he wants to talk, uh, talk for two minutes about that the outreach uh, so let's just okay let's just um see if i can find that now actually yeah so these are um yeah what what just comment on that on each photo just comment on each photo um, Sunspot counting at Luconia, which went, was very popular. That's the anonymatic sundial at Generation Schools. Very neat, as you can see. <clears throat> and this, there were eight, if you look very carefully, but it's, it's not a good photo of that. It's... <clears throat> Story on the outreach. All right, let me find the agenda. Sorry, are we carry on with the agenda? Oh, keep on getting the wrong one. Agenda. Here we go. All right. Can we get approval of the Chairman's report, if anybody's prepared to do that. Okay, so uh, Johan put his hand up slightly before Jenny. Can we get a second? Thanks, Jenny. No complaints about the Chairman's report? <laughs> Missing items, comments, questions? Okay, um, then we have the Treasurer's report. Can we get... Um, Elaine, to elaborate on that. Oh, just, just give me a second to find it. Can you see that? All right. Yep. Do you want me to call up your, your other sheet, or do you want to stick to this? Yeah, so the mic and speak okay. to the mic. Okay. Okay. Um, first of all, I want to say thanks to Laura, too. They say dynamite comes in small package, and it really does. She took me through pastel and debits and credits and all that stuff, which I had previously not known very much about. Thank you, Laura. Uh, you've been very kind. You've given me so much time. So thank you very much. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Right. Okay, then... Um, just to look at our, our income statement for the year, uh, you can see we had income of 14, 000, just over 14,000 Rand there. Um, we have done the membership. There's slight decrease in the membership right at the top. We did increase the, the fees, but there were fewer members. Then the sale of the Sky Guides. Again, we increased the price to 100 Rand from 80, but the, again, there were fewer sold, as you'll see later in the expenditure. That uh, the 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 ex pledge fund will now be added to to the the management fees for maintenance and projects. Um, then the interest, with not much interest this year, but we expect to have substantial interest in the next year. Then there's 
of their income back, thanks to peer, a lot of that income for maintenance of projects was from peer, a Satori project. So thanks for that, peer. And then there was also a refund from Dowd's Engineering. Then our expenses, you'll see that our expenses, well, if you look at the bottom line, slightly exceeded our income. And that was mainly due to the fact that we paid an awful lot for the hall hire. And we also spent some money on some club equipment in the form of a tripod for our um, telescope. All right. Then other than that, we, ex we uh, spent money on the meeting and meeting related expenses, five and a half thousand rand, mainly for Zoom and for um, yeah, an insurance. Then the Sky Guides, again, that was a slight increase, even though we sold fewer. Then going to the Gearings Point expenses, that 13,000 rand re represents money that had to be spent during 2023, and we have spent it. Um, outreach expenses, 600 rand, that was spent on refreshments and worksheets. And then club equipment, I've already mentioned that. And then the expenses on maintenance and projects, that was mainly for our expenses of the Sundial and Gearings Point and Swallow Park. Yeah, and the, the solar system. Okay. Can I go to the, yeah, to the balance sheet? Yeah. In questions about the income statement. No. Okay. Erin. Uh, no, no, I don't want to. No, just the, the balance sheet so that they can see I'm so you can also. Yeah, the second tab. Oh, okay. Can I just tell you? Can I just just tell you? Okay. It should be on that. On this All right. That's the balance sheet. Yeah, on the balance sheet, the second right. one. Found it. Yeah. Okay. So. Oh, oh, could you expand that second column? Okay. Our balance sheet at the moment is 53,239. And that comprises the Standard Bank, Mobis account, uh, and the Standard Bank fixed deposit. In June last year, we closed the old accounts. That was after we had completed the, the we had spent the lottery money. So we opened those two accounts. Now, the 45,000 rand, we are expecting interest of 3,700 rand, which will be used exclusively for projects and maintenance. And then, obviously, there's 300 rand in the kitty, in the cash box. And then our accumulated funds is just 53,239.46. And we have now spent all the money of the lottery money, which... <laughs> Laura was an expert on that, and I'm so glad it's over. Any questions? Any questions on the financial? Now's your chance. Laura, you're the expert. You're the expert. Any questions? Okay. So thank you very much for that, Elaine. Can we get approval of the financials, please? Like Laura gives her approval, so we don't need a second after that. <laughs> Anybody seconding? Come on. Thanks, John. All right. Uh, let's see if we can find the agenda again. Come on. Right. Now, regarding appointment of auditors. Um, we need to get approval 
of deregistering the HAC NPC and closing the, the legal entities accounts. We need approval for not appointing a registered chartered accountant because the cost of annual financial statements can no longer be uh, the expenses against the NLC uh, National Lottery check account. So, um, do we? How do we? How do we do that? Do we ask for approval from the members, or was that just a committee thing? The yeah, Manus Astronomy Center NPC non-profit company completed its function at the end of 22 with the GPIED project. But the auditors being auditors, they want to have resolutions from the, a, a general meeting or an AGM uh, for, for the NPC to actually be closed. So that is the first uh, proposal which which approval actually, which is required from this AGM. And I think the proposer and seconder must not be uh, from the committee because the committee discussed it with him. But it is approved. And the second consequence is because there's no longer uh, a non-profit company there are no audit financial, audited financial statements required, so it's a significant savings to not appoint uh, an auditor. That was the case before we became an NPC, and it worked quite well. And we see that the finances are very well handled. So I think everyone agrees with that. But now it is in the minutes of the AGM, and the auditor can execute it. Thank you. Okay, have we got anybody that disagrees with the proposals, those two proposals? Does everybody agree? Show of hands. Thanks very much. It's on camera as well. <laughs> All right. And then uh, regarding the election of the committee. Um, okay, the, the current committee has essentially agreed to, to carry on. Um, do we have any volunteers this evening uh, for helping us on the committee? And all shot at once. <laughs> all right, thanks very much. Anyway, we, we you can always uh, send us a quiet email if you don't want to raise your voice now. Um, all right, so uh, just, I think we just recorded that the current committee will then carry on. And we will, at our next committee meeting, then just uh, appoint chairmen and treasurers and things like that. All right. Any other business? Anybody got anything else? Any other comments? Yes. So hold on, hold on. What's going to happen now with ONRAS? Okay. Are we going to continue having meetings there? Are we going to have meetings here? How's it all going to work? Uh, we have to pay for meetings here, and those facilities are very nice. So when we can, uh, a criterion is that the topics have to be of interest to the uh, onerous residents as well. So we can't go there with, say, highly technical things, which they're never going to be interested in, which might be just interested to, interesting to astronomers, things like that. So there may be occasional topics which will not be suited. But generally, they, they have been quite supportive. So I think when we have uh, guest speakers, particularly, and well, even, I mean, for example, Jenny gave her talk there and so on. So yes, uh, are you, have you got a, any sort of preference on that or comment on, on the use of the honest manner? Is that a problem for you? Do you prefer it here? My suggestion is that you concentrate more on basic astronomy so that the guys that are coming to these meetings from honors and places like that have a better understanding of what we're doing. Because we the 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 talks are fairly high level, and the person coming into astronomy from outside with no background has got no clue what's going on. Okay, so so noted for our um, lectures and visiting lecturers director. Um, he will take that as a parameter into his considerations. That, will you, Peter? Is that okay? <laughs> yes, sure. Thank you for the comment. 
All right, then if, there, if there's nothing else, then we, we can wrap it up and I'll thank you very much for your attendance this evening and your contributions to the evening. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much. Yeah. I just got two virtual. Um, yeah. Uh, does it, how many members are there? Um, I got Tim, uh, Terry Timpson and um, Ab Conkerman. Ab and Pat. And Pat. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right. Oh.